frightened. I woke up excited this morning. I'm going back to Baziland. The first day of travel down to Zamwonga City was very smooth. The second day, well, I got removed from this boat. But it all worked out in the end, and this is going to be a really awesome series. Good morning from just outside Dipolog City. And I woke up excited this morning because I'm going back to a place that I went to for the first time one month ago and has always been in my mind since. I'm going back to Basilan and it's fiesta in a couple of days time. So this is a really exciting time to be there. I'm gonna drive down the coast to Zamboanga City. I'll be in Zamboanga City overnight and then let's go over to Basilan tomorrow. It's, uh, it's gonna be a cool trip. Don't think you're allowed to park there. That is indeed a giant man on giant rooster. Now I see why Kulas got so excited. He made a whole video. I'm gonna stop on one of these towns on the way called Sindangan because someone messaged me from there and told me, oh, why don't you stop here? So I thought, all right, I will. When it's my first time driving a road, I like to get an overview with quick stops like this, just to get a feel of the place. Facebook tapos. Oh, like you. People die, we move out. And then Ray wanted to show me something new that's happening here. I like that a lot of cities now are putting these boulevards in on, on rivers, oceans, and so on, especially on the rivers, because I find rivers really underappreciated. And I love rivers, I love water, and this is nice just to connect people with nature. It's a solid fence as well. I'm bing, I'm bing. I'm bing. <laughs> Onwards to Zamboanga City. Zamboanga Kisimugai has really, really cool welcome arches. Welcome to Zambonga City. Well, the boundary and torrential rain. We're doing a really good time today. Thankfully, the rain stopped, but the gloomy effects remained. And once I arrived in Zambonga City, time to engage in my favorite activity. That's a massive amount of Tiolo Itum. I've been craving ever since I knew I was coming here. And now I need to try to find some cutlery because I don't have any of that. This, from the first time I tried it, was my favorite. Oh. And then I went to sleep. But I woke up to this. Well, great. I've just got to hope this holds up until I get to the parking area. Boat's in about 40 minutes. But with first traffic and then trying to find parking, cutting that 45 minutes down, I had a change of plan. Yeah, and then I, I got there. I, I had a wander around the fort where I heard I can park. <laughs> it's all into construction. So there's no way I'm going to catch up. The boat leaves in 10 minutes, so I just can't catch up anymore. So I'm going to go fix my tire get the next boat at midday instead. I think where I'm fixing my tire is near 
somewhere I like to eat. I forgot the name of the place. I mean, I'm not doing well this morning, am I? Found it. And this is Al, the owner, who came back home after 13 years working as a nurse in Saudi. Is this how we do it in the Philippines? Yeah. Oh, I've done this so many times. <laughs> it's normally nails. I think <laughs> once every two months or something. There you go. That's oh, right. Man. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's Quite right. Strong. Mm -hmm. It's unusual for it to, to lose everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, normally it just loses, loses some. Yeah, you just you, you find you find out that there's something wrong before even you, you use the entire pressure. I'm not. I I, I learned that the hard way. Me too. I learned to put an inflator there in my car. But my wife usually calls me when I'm at work. <laughs> yeah, I'm not tired. You do this. You do this. And then you go home and take care of it when you're at home. Yeah, much better. So I don't have to come and rescue you every time. <laughs> much better, no? One time I, I had a screwdriver head in my... Oh! Yeah, that was bad. And I had no inflator, so I, in the end I lost the tyre. You had to run it that. Yeah, oh, I had no choice. That to destroy the entire tyre. Yeah, it, it destroyed the side wall. Yeah, so I, I, after that day I said I'll buy an inflator. There we go, I just found out what's wrong with the tyre. It turns out to be a simple little nail. Ah, thank you. If you put it in a different position, you will lose the balancing. Yes, it's unbalanced, yeah. yeah. I actually do that. Most most of them they don't do that, yeah. <laughs> Here I make sure we put it the way it was because the balance is very important, especially for cars that travel fast. Oh, oh, yeah. Otherwise you'll be like yeah, yeah, I know! My whole seat shaking. <laughs> oh, man. You'd be wondering, what's wrong? Is there something wrong with the car or what? No, it turns no. out it was just a tire. It's just the balance, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know that very, very well. <laughs> Tough to maintain on an employee on this kind of work. Yeah. I usually have one or two, but they don't last. They're two to three months. They quit. Yeah. Oh, look at it. And it made my tire flat earlier. <laughs> the world is crazy. <laughs> Small things make a big difference. Man. They can give you a really big headache. Yeah. Oh, it's man. able to bring down a five ton car. <laughs> I know, right? And then, an extra surprise. Oh, I just, no, I thought I saw something sticking through. Some... Yeah, somehow I have a second one. <laughs> aye, 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 always the way. <laughs> but it's not sticking here. No, it's only the small one, right? Yeah. I don't know where these come from, but... Uh... <laughs> Is your, your language Chavacano or...? No, we, no. Uh, we are Tao Sug. Oh, you're Tao Sug. Oh, yeah. great. Great, great. Uh, this came when I was eight or seven years old when I was... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, young, huh? Yeah. When my dad passed, I was still a small boy. Oh. Yeah. So my mom decided that Holo was like, you know. Where did you come from originally? From Holo. Holo, yeah, Holo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I said, you know the story of Holo. I know the story. I know the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So before my dad passed, his last message was bring our kids to some bongo. Yeah. So my mom decided to like, so I should say to you, Max Ukol. Oh, welcome. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel? Uh, I don't know if there's like a welcome in Tao soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Max Ukol is the only word I know in Tao soon. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what my profession is? What's You'll that? be surprised. I'm a nurse. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. I'm a licensed I'm a registered nurse. This is my wife. My wife's a nurse. <laughs> yeah. I worked in Saudi Arabia for 13 years. Wow. Wow. Then you came home. Years. And then I came home and I found out that uh, working as a nurse here will not earn you as much as having your own business. Yes. So I decided to put it up and ended up working in it by myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what's, your, what's your name? Uh, my nickname is Al. Al. Al, yeah. I'm Ansel. 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 My name is quite tough to pronounce. Arrain. 
Habain. Arrain. Habain. A double R A I N. Habain. Yeah, it's Habain. So it's pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. people just call me Al for sure. Oh, my name's Ansel. It's also hard to pronounce. I like to avoid asking prices on camp and so, but he told me 150. I thought I thought he meant 150 like per nail. No, he meant he meant 150 total. So I gave him more than 150 and said, thank you, Al, you're an honest guy. Come to this place, it's in San Jose. Okay, there's Jolly Bee, McDonald's, you go inside. That's where to go for good vulcanizing. I, I, it's, that's unbelievable for two patches. Honest, honest guy. Awesome, awesome, what a story as well. Okay, today has turned into a bit of a nightmare into meeting a very, very cool guy from, from Sulu who's, who's lived here since he was young. That's why I don't, I try not to let these things get to me. <laughs> they do sometimes. What's it now? It's 10.30. Okay, I have time to go to Dennis Coffee. Is there parking? I don't know. Ah, no. Ah, I can't park. Oh. <laughs> but then I discovered something. So, Dennis Coffee Garden does have a parking lot. It's just down the road. Dennis Coffee originated in Holo Sulu in 1962 before opening in Zamboanga and serves excellent Taosuk dishes. I really like this restaurant. I, I came here back in 2019 before my vlogging days and they have a nice map. I love maps. Really love maps. I ordered some beef kuma. Right, here we go. Oh, the roasted coconut is the best. I love roasted coconut. Something about it. Wow, oh, that's really good in the sauce. This is better than rendang. That's fresh. I put a bit too much. Calamansi with Lipton tea. I thought, oh, maybe there's local Sulu tea. Or look, no, no, there's not. There's not. That describes my day so far. <laughs> Let's go to the port. Let's get a Bazi land. I like Zamboanga. So I bought my ticket, parked, and boarded my boat. rush across to get the tickets. The ticket office is somewhere over there. I didn't realize last time I got the ticket on the boat. When I feel that the manifests are just Filipino all the way down, right? No, I'm British. We're going, we're going. Nope, not yet. After five minutes, a member of the crew told me I needed to leave the boat. I realized when I was filming this that day, I never actually filmed this part where I got removed because I was more focused on, well, I was just confused to be honest by what was going on. So what happened was I got on the boat. I was there for about 10 minutes. And then a member of the crew came to me and asked, have you done profiling at Coast Guard? And I said, what's that? So I, I said I've, I've coordinated with so-and-so and such and such. Because of course, you don't just go to Baziland by yourself. That's a bad idea. And then she said, no, no, you have to do the, the profiling. So I was, I was still, I was asking, where do I go? What do I, okay, because, and I said, the last time I went to Baziland, I didn't have to do any of this. So I don't know what's happening. And, and so I traipsed, I did the little walk of shame off the boat, back over, Oh, where's the thing there? With all my bags, by the way. I uh, went over to the Coast Guard and, and we just did like some fingerprinting and photos and so on and so forth. No problem. No problem at all. And this is certainly not a complaint. I'm not complaining about anything. I'm actually very grateful that you have these people looking out for you when you go out there. It's just I had no idea about this. And so I missed my boat. But managed to make the one 45 minutes later. 
So, for information, if you go out there, of course, there are still some problems out in that area. And so, they're looking out for you. And that's, it's, it's totally okay. Just know you have to go to Coast Guard first. Oh, thank you so much. Uh. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Hi, Isabella. Hi, the ticket is wrong. And what a relief it was to see Isabella again, to cruise down that channel. They were only small hiccups in the end. Time to go up the hill and change your outfit. And these ones fit just. I like this look though. This is cool. So I'm in a Yakan outfit going to an inauguration. All things end very well in the end. Thank you, City Tourism Office. These guys are awesome. That's who I'm with. Hello. And that's who I've arranged everything with. And so it was a bit of a surprise that I had to go and do the whole Coast Guard thing. But of course, that's, they're just looking out for you. And the police here are doing the same thing. So I'm not wandering around alone, not doing anything of that like that. It's important to mention that already. Yeah. We'll be all right. Formality's over, I went up to this waterfall nearby, and I guess the rainbow was my welcome back to Basilan. In Yakan outfit. And now I've got to make sure I don't get it dirty, because that's something I'm very, very likely to do. But that was just a quick stop. We're going to head across town to something quite historically important. This is the part I always go past on the boat. Like both times I've gone, oh that looks nice, where is it? Ah, oh, it's here apparently. It's a marker for the Philippine part of the first circumnavigation of the world. So as Magellan came through the Sulu Sea and down this way, yeah. We are on the straits of Basilan, and this brings back my memories from last time. Everything I love about this place. That evening, I ate here at Vianda Nakanya. Great food served in these clever bamboo trays. And then we went to the boulevard for dinner number two. Good one. Nice. Okay. And my barbecue. Barbecue, Hey, what's up? What's up? But I went for a shake to start. Um, avocado, avocado. What, what kind of flavor do you want? Uh, what do you want? Yeah, avocado, avocado. avocado, avocado. Yeah, yeah. Santa All Snack House. No. Hi, Santa All. Thank you. Santa All. Santa All. All. <laughs> Delicious. Salamat. Salamat. Thank you. Salamat. Salamat. Sana all! Sana all snack house, the best! Oh, this chicken barbecue does look good though. I might have to try some chicken barbecue, see what the sauce is like. Chicken barbecue, a Filipino street food classic. 
but I was wondering something. Is this a special sauce or is it what I'm used to? It looks a bit different. I'm gonna try. It's barbecue, delicious, but okay. sweet and sour. Ah, sweet and sour. Okay, I'll try. Master Chef. I've seen this style of cooking before, but my stomach's just too full this time. As for my sticks, they're put in the spicy sauce and left for an age to get the most flavor. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I want to try the sauce. This is spicy. Can I handle it? I don't know. It's got some kick, eh? It's good. This one I got a chicken jump drum stick. Ah, my barbecue's falling. I <laughs> saved it. Just about. Hey, it's right, it's sweet and sour. It's, a, it's got that little, it's a little bit different. The spice is just right for me. I love it. This is good. It's just got that little bit extra flavor, that sweet and sour. Very good. So we were in agreement. Basilan barbecue is different to other barbecue. First night in Basilan. I've been here for a day trip. I've driven across this bridge, but my first time to walk across it, two dinners is never a good idea. I would have loved to sample more down there and do more there, but today I'm just a bit crook. Not feeling great today, but uh, hopefully tomorrow that would have gone whatever's going on. Burning soon. Hey! Don't know who that was. <laughs>